Okay, so, I just showed you how to create yourself a window and a door and a skylight, and how to put textures on your map. Now, the next thing you want to do is create a playing field outside your room. So let's just, you know, create yourself a nice playing field. I'm just going to use the same texture, I'm just going to use that plywood, so, you know, just has like a, it's a base texture for outside, maybe just like it's a construction site or something like that. So let's just create ourselves a playing field here outside your room. And there you go, now you got yourself your playing field outside your room. And don't worry about what you see on my screen, even though it'll probably, s if you're using the same textures I'm using, it'll show up on your screen too, but in game you won't see this you won't see it at all it won't be conflicting whatsoever if you want to if you know you're like me I'm a little anal about these kinds of things you can hit uh, shift and control and left click and you can select that side of the face of that wall and change it so that it's not glitching like that like I said it, that's just only if you're anal like I am so let's uh, pull this out a little bit give ourselves some playing room here outside of the map Get this working pretty good there we go and the map's coming along pretty nicely and you can zoom in and out with a mouse wheel on your mouse in the 2D view so, what we got here is you got yourself your room, or what is your shack now, kinda. <laughs> nice little shack out in the middle of nowhere. And like I said, I'm a little anal about these kinds of things, so, you know, just bear with me. So that is creating your playing field. This is the area in which p players are actually going to play on your map. It's a fairly nice area that you got going here. You got your room, you got your skylight, you got your playing area. Next thing that you can, you could do is well, let's uh, instead of the plywood actually, let's change that to grass. So go to your textures, surface type, and go to grass. Good grass to use is grass number two. It's always my favorite to use because it blends well when you put in the different models of grass around. So now you've got yourself your room, and outside you got your grass. All right, next thing, let's just uh, let's create ourselves a skybox. A skybox is the edge of your map to where the sky is and uh, background that people see when they look out into your map. So your skybox wants to be it needs to be one unit past your play field. So let's only have about that high, seeing as your building's only about that high. Hollow it out. Go back here. And then you want to go to textures, usage, sky. And let's see, what's a good sky we want to use? Right now it's just grass. We'll change that here, selecting your areas. Let's see, there's Aftermath, Armada, what's a good one? Chesney is pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. So yeah, now you have your skybox, and that is going to be your background for your entire map. It's looking pretty good there.